Welcome everybody to the NCAA Women's Championship presented by Capital One. The final game at Gamble Pavilion this season, and it's the two seed UConn Huskies taking on upset minded and 10th seeded Buffalo with a sweet 16 bid on the line. Spring breaks over, and we're ready to go with a spot in Albany on the line. And the tip won by Collier. Take a look at UConn's Capital One starting lineups tonight. No surprise, Collier in the thick of it. Achieving the dreams that you set out to accomplish. This is the type of confidence that she's trying to instill in this Bulls team as they did a season ago. Well, if they're going to do it, they're going to have to do it against a, a UConn team that... Third sets up Teresa Onwuka. UConn in transition, and the freshman Kristen Williams navigating to the rim. Samuelson. Another turnover by Buffalo. That's four. Collier running the floor. Counter and a foul. And UConn on the run again. Samuelson fouled. Yeah, this is 5-3 meet 6-3 on the wing. Well, Paul did a good job of running Katie Lou Samuelson off the line. Hemphill lost it. Another Buffalo turnover. They're fifth. What a pass by Dangerfield to Collier. Turnover number six. Williams to Samuelson in traffic. Walker pops it. Collier the rebound and the stick back. Here's Williams for three. I, I like the decision by UConn because it's getting the ball out of Dillard's hands right. early, not allowing her to beat you. Williams again with a three. Walker splitting defenders and scoring. Decision-making uh, role every single time down the floor. Brittany Morrison in off the bench. Couldn't get the stick back. And Collier finds Williams in transition. Patched up. Nice feed by Samuelson to Walker. Talking about this during the break, Buffalo has to extend their zone a little further than they would maybe against some other teams, and that opens things up. Anywhere near the defensive team. That, and that, and that's board. something yeah. that Gino has made very clear. The transition, Collier draws a little bump and puts it in. And here comes UConn again. Nice save by Collier, finding Williams for three. Definitely, definitely the leader of the offense in terms of the play calls. The general pointing players to where they need to go has a great command. Here's Collier. Doing what Collier's been doing. Collier maneuvering around out of Yaya. Better as the game went on. Three chances for the Bulls, but on Wuka denied by the bottom of the rim. Samuelson scoops it in. Yeye on the glass. That was a big factor for Buffalo in the first half. Great pass. Samuelson all the way down court for Williams. This is just a beautiful pass. Kristen Williams up ahead, right in stride. All she has to do, look at that, right in the pocket. All she has to do is put it up and finish. On paraphernalia all over it the other day. Now it's all UConn with all the names of legendary players. Two more for Collier. Physical style on the glass, that's for sure. Right, Dangerfield open in the corner off the inbound. Defense, 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 defense. There's Dangerfield. On line and on target. Samuelson. In and out. Collier extends for the rebound. Absolutely. And she's going to have to be smarter. And some of those plays that are potential 50-50s, just don't go for it. You're more valuable to your... Big to big the other way. This time Collier finds Nelson Adota. Uh, you haven't had successful offensive possessions. Uh, give it to your best player. There you go. Yep. Quick shot and a foul. Right on cue, Carol. 
fourth on Wilkins, forcing the team foul. Good patience here by UConn. Uh, excellent post up by Nafisa Collier, Collier to carve out space. Here's Samuelson to Collier, who's been the all-star tonight. And when they need a bucket, they get it from the senior. You get a touch for Walker and an easy two that time. An incredible run by Buffalo, but 26 straight. Sweet 16s for UConn. This one in dramatic fashion as Gino Ariema and the Huskies are headed to the second weekend again.